Yo, what's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to get the freshest modded outfits for your female and male characters, all right? First and second character right after this brief message. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so getting back into the video, this is basically, these are all the outfits that you can get. All right, there's more, but I'm just showing you a preview. Here are the downsides. This glitch is only for PS4, okay? This is an only PS4 glitch. Uh, the outfits you're seeing are only for PS4, all right? The, I'm sorry, Xbox dudes, but that's just how this one is, all right? So you need a lot of requirements, though, for this glitch. You need also a software. So Xbox guys, don't worry, because some PS4 guys won't even be able to do it because you need Save Wizard. Save Wizard is a $60 software. I'll leave the link for Save Wizard in the description. But yeah, guys, so not only, you know, do you need a PS4, but you need a PC with this software that costs 60 bucks. All right. So to be able to get these outfits. Now, this save method is for the DM shortlisted, you know, actors. So these saves actually put these outfits on the shortlist for you. So if you have other outfits with Christmas masks on the shortlist, then, you know, you can do this method. But to get these modded outfits you see me, you know, showing off right here, you need this save, all right? You need the save, and then you need save wizard, and you need to be able to modify it. You see my girl character? I have the dunce cap. I got Tron shoes, joggers, the works, okay? So big Big shout out to Super420 for actually finding the save method and huge shout out to Mr. Glitches aka Mucky Mods. He is the reason why we have all of these awesome outfits. He made these saves and he gave them out there to the community. So big shout out to both of those guys. Uh, apart from that, the save method itself, it's very tricky to hit. It's inconsistent, requires a lot of time and patience and completely random. Okay. So I'll leave two male modded outfit saves in the description along with the one female outfit save that we got, okay? And like I said, you can get outfits for your first and second character, okay? It works for both of them, all right? As, as I showed you right there, proof. I have two characters and I have two modded outfits right there. So I've successfully saved about six or seven outfits, I would say, doing this glitch in like three days, all right? And as you can see right there, just won a million dollars headed online. But this is what you want to do to set up to actually do the glitch. Once you've actually gotten, and I'll leave i'll make a video you know uh later after this one on how to actually you know get the save and do everything you need to do to it okay so right now what i'm showing you is how to set up for it okay like you know just in on your ps4 okay and on your main character so this is the outfit or the character we want the outfits on you want a simple outfit on him regular pants regular shoes crew t-shirt and a forward cap the rebreather is not necessary. I promise you that rebreather is not necessary. I've gotten plenty of outfits without the rebreather. So you just need a forward cap on and set your spawn location to random. I heard setting it to last location also works, but I always use random. All right, you don't have to have a parachute on. I just had one for this video, but I've done the glitch a lot, you know, the last three days, and I've really studied, you know, what you got to do. So like I said, make sure you go online, though, before you try attempt to get any outfits, okay? Always. If you're loading up the fresh save, go online first, okay? And then come back. Make sure you're set up online and come back. Now, open up your interaction menu and go to director mode. That's what we're doing right now. So we're ready to do the glitch. I already have the save imported. Uh, it's, uh, everything's on my short list. So on this save, he put a chicken hawk on here, okay? This is the one bird that we're using. So you don't have to go out and get this bird. It's already out on the save. So select actors, animals, and just select that bird, and we're going to enter DM with this bird. So here's the really tricky part, all right? So the whole glitch is random, doesn't know when it's going to work, but you also have to hit this every single time, okay? So... What you want to do is when you're in director mode as the bird, go ahead and just set a waypoint next to a body of water, you know, right on the, the edge of the shoreline, whatever you want. Open up your interaction menu and then do what I just did right there. Go to location and then go to the waypoint and just hit X on it and it will teleport you there. So you see it just teleported me there. That's nice and easy. This is how you go around in director mode. So here's the name of the game. All right. You want to fly over a body of water and you want to open up your interaction menu, hover over quit director mode. You need a double, tax, a double tap X on quit director mode 
and you need to load up a recent activity and decline the alert right after, okay? So, and you need to do this quick, all right? I'm telling you, quick. So right now, I'm just getting my recent activity ready. You guys should know, anyone that says start GTA Online and you want to hover over that, I'm going to double tap the PS button. So here we go. What I'm going to do is just dive down into the water, and you're going to see me do that here. And there we go, double tap X, double tap the PS button, hit start GTA Online, and decline the alert. But as you can see, I kind of fumbled it here, didn't do it too well, decline the alert. And that is one fail you'll see. Okay, so that fail is you were super close. That timing was right there, but you didn't get the wasted sign. All right, you need to get the wasted sign. So it should spawn you back as the bird if that happens. Uh, just select the bird again and go back into uh, DM. All right, so now we're back in director mode. This is the second thing that will happen to most of you when you fail. All right, so we're going to hover over quit director mode. I'm going to dive down, double tap the X button right before I'm about to hit the water, double tap the PS button, and hit start GT online and decline the alert. All right, so... So you can see what happened right there is I was actually way too late. So you just spawned back as Franklin because, you know, we we're quitting director mode. So those are the two fails. That will happen a lot. You need to find your timing. I'm not even that good with the PS4 controller because I'm so used to Xbox. So it took me a while. But you can always just go right back into director mode and try it again. Just keep selecting the birds. So that's what I'm doing right now. After both those fails, I'm just going to go ahead and go to actors, animals, and select the chicken hawk right here. Okay, so... Now that we have the bird, all right, in director mode, this is the one that I actually hit, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and fly over and open up my interaction menu, hover over quit director mode, okay? So here we go. I'm going to dive into the water, double tap the X button, double, double tap PS button, start to sound line, decline the alert, and there we go, all right? I got the wasted sign, all right? That's what you want to see. That's successful, so you need to hit that part, okay? I showed you the two fails, and I showed you how to actually perfectly hit it. The timing is weird. You have to figure it out just by doing it, you know, a lot. So when you see the loading symbol right there, you can go ahead and load up a recent and decline the alert. You'll spawn back as the bird. Just go ahead and open up the interaction menu and hit enter director mode. Okay. So now once we're back over here at the trailer, go to the shortlisted actors and here are all the outfits that we have on the modded save. All right. You need to go ahead and select the outfit that you want. All these are transferable. They all have a Christmas mask. And like I said, I've gotten a few of them. So I know that they're definitely, you can transfer them. So now once you go ahead and select it, we're in director mode. You want to go ahead and hit quit director mode. Okay. So quit director mode. And now we're going to spawn back in story. Now we're in story mode with the modded outfit. That's how you know we're glitched. Go ahead and open up the interaction menu and click on director mode again. We'll be back at the trailer now. Okay. So now that we're back at the trailer, just press up on the D pad and hit a or X, sorry, to enter director mode. So here is the part you need to be pretty quick at. Okay. I think the the faster the better i really do so hover over quit director mode we're going to double tap the x button and then double tap the ps button start detail line and decline the alert okay so here we go that's what i'm doing right now press pause right now okay press pause go to online go to creator all right just spam it you see how we're glitched out right there up in the air that is how we're bringing the outfit online so if you load straight into creator you're good if you load online you got to restart from the beginning so once we're in creator go ahead and you can press pause and just hit play gta online and go or you can just from the creator menu just hit exit to gta 5 online all right you can do it that way as well you just need to get online as quick as possible right there some people say to even wait but i've had more success going uh, a lot faster at this part of the glitch so that part really isn't that difficult. You'll get that pretty quick. It's just the wasted thing with the bird is the uh, the most difficult part, I would say, from the glitch or of this glitch. So if everything went smoothly and you got very lucky, you will spawn in a random spot with your new outfit. OK, so I just successfully hit it right there. That is how I brought on my blue outfit. And as you can see, I've gotten five or six more other outfits from this method in a span of like two to three days and maybe doing this for like five hours a day. Probably I spend a good amount of time on it. But uh, yeah, so if you guys don't know already, make sure you go and save the outfit after this. Uh, just make sure you save it, save it a few times, force a game save, do what you got to do. But these outfits are fully savable and you'll be good to go. All right, so like I said, uh, next video I'm going to be coming out with tonight is actually what to do with the saves, how to use save wizard, and to get all that working. I just wanted to come out with the main part of the, or the main, you know, video for this glitch so everybody can really see what the benefits are. If I just uploaded a save wizard video, people would just, you know, disregard it. They wouldn't know what it was for. But 
Next video, you guys know that's what I'm posting. Okay, so this is everything, the save method. You have to do this every time you want to get an outfit. Once we're here, I can go ahead and just put on a default outfit and, you know, make sure my spawn location is set to random. And I can go back to story mode and try to get another one. Okay, so you're going to fail a lot at this. I It probably took me maybe 10 tries at the wasted thing to actually get the first outfit. I've gotten some outfits on first try. It all depends. It's a very random glitch. You need to spend money to do it. Um, but that's totally up to you, okay? Totally up to you. You need a PS4, obviously. No modded saves on Xbox at the moment. So I hope this video was good enough and very informative for you guys, and you guys can make an educated decision on what you want to do. But uh, yeah, I'll leave all the links that you need to know down in the description. Uh, my name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Can't wait to get there. Peace out.